In January 1971, the United States Air Force proposed a plan to develop a lightweight fighter aircraft. This plan was not influenced by the prevailing strategy at the time, but rather based on existing technology to propose suitable standard requirements. The result of this plan is the famous F-16 multi-role fighter aircraft. However, at that time, there was also a competing YF-17 lightweight fighter aircraft, which, although it failed in this competition, later developed into the famous F-A-18 Hornet fighter aircraft. The YF-17 was designed by Northrop, and its technology can be traced back to the F-5E fighter aircraft. In the mid-1960s, Northrop proposed the N-300 program, which aimed to create a higher-performance aircraft by extending the fuselage of the F-5E and replacing the engine. The YF-17 looks like a younger F-A-18. The main structure of the aircraft is made of aerospace aluminum, with some parts using materials such as epoxy resin. It is powered by two General Electric YJ101-100 afterburning turbofan engines, each with an output of 14,400 pounds of thrust, which is strong for a lightweight fighter aircraft. The two engines are installed side by side to avoid serious torque imbalance caused by the failure of one engine. The engine intakes are located on the underside of the wings and fuselage. The aircraft emphasizes maneuverability, so it is equipped with leading-edge slats and twin vertical tails. The former can reduce adverse effects, such as induced yawing moment in high angle of attack conditions, improve lift, and make engine intake smoother. The outwardly inclined twin vertical tails provide stronger directional stability. The aircraft is operated by a single pilot. The radar is installed in the nose cone, and a prototype is equipped with an M61 20mm cannon. It is planned to carry AIM-9 Sidewinder short-range air-to-air missiles on the wingtips and MK-80 series air-to-ground bombs. The aircraft will have air combat and ground attack capabilities. The YF-17 fighter aircraft received the nickname Cobra because of the shape of its leading-edge slats. The prototype made its first flight in June 1974 and demonstrated astonishing maneuverability and agility. Although the design maximum speed was 1.95 Mach, the aircraft flew supersonic without afterburners on June 11th, which was considered the first aircraft in American aviation history to achieve supersonic flight without afterburners. A total of two prototypes of the YF-17 were produced, with 288 flights and a total flight time of 345 hours. All aspects of the tests met the design expectations. Although the YF-17 performed excellently in terms of performance and could be considered on par with the competing YF-16 at the time, it was ultimately not selected for various reasons. Fortunately, the United States Navy was very interested in this excellent aircraft. In May 1975, a development team composed of Northrop obtained a naval air combat fighter contract. The team developed the F-A-18 Hornet carrier-based aircraft based on the YF-17, living up to expectations. Northrop also developed a land-based version, the F-18L, and intended to explore overseas markets with it. However, these foreign users all chose the naval version. The YF-17 lightweight fighter aircraft has a length of 17.1 meters, a height of 4.7 meters, a wingspan of 10.05 meters, a wing area of 32 square meters, a maximum speed of 1.95 Mach, a service ceiling of 15,000 meters, and a maximum range of approximately 4,800 kilometers.